Speaker, I call the member for Dawson. Speaker, well, everybody's talking about what's in the budget. I'd like to talk about what was not there, that being the Bruce Highway. Uh, 1,700 kilometres of bitumen running from Brisbane in the southeast of Queensland to Cairns in the far north. It provides the arterial link along the Queensland coastline for major, re major regional centres like Cairns, Townsville, Mackay, Rocky, Gladstone. According to the North Queensland Roads Alliance, the Bruce Highway contribution to the North Queensland economy is $11.5 billion. That was in 2010-11, and, and it had a $5.3 billion in gross added value. An estimated 60,000 jobs in North Queensland, or about 17 per cent of the total employment in that area, is related to trade on the Bruce Highway. There are four important ports along the stretch of the Bruce Highway between Rockhampton and Townsville. Townsville's port is a throughput of 10 million tonnes a year, including sugar, copper, lead and zinc. Uh, that's exports and nickel and oil imports. Hay Point and Abbott Point, both uh, close or in my electorate, export 77.5 million tonnes and 12.1 million tonnes of coal annually. Uh, Mackay is an important port for exporting sugar. But here's the big kicker. With all of that economic activity, the Bruce Highway is an absolute disgrace, and it is for two reasons. One, in some sections it's just outright dangerous, and secondly, it's regularly cut because of flooding. Yet the importance of this infrastructure was completely overlooked in last night's budget. The Australian Road Assessment Program rated the stretch of the Bruce Highway between Mackay and Serena as the third most dangerous stretch of road in Australia. The section is only 25 kilometres long, but it recorded 108 motorists injured and six killed on it between 2005 and 2009. As we know, the LNP was swept into power uh, earlier this year, and the key promise from the new Premier, Campbell Newman, was to allocate a, bi a billion dollars additional to the Bruce Highway. The pressure is now on the federal government to match the funding on a similar scale, and uh, as it has in other areas where they've done 80-20 funding spli splits, $4 billion should be allocated immediately to the Bruce Highway, but it simply wasn't in the budget. So to counter this, I've launched a campaign, Mr Deputy Speaker, called Fix the Bruce, designed to allow grassroots users of the Bruce Highway to have input. We need to know exactly what the problems are so solutions can be costed and prioritised. We need a willing federal government in Canberra to contribute its share of funding to the Bruce Highway to be brought up to a standard that will allow Queensland to continue making a contribution to the national economy. And hopefully we will have that willing government soon. For now, though, I encourage Bruce Highway users to log on to the website www.fixthebruce.com.au or, or for those of my electorate, to fill in the brochure uh, in the mail, uh, Mr Speaker, that will help me identify the problem areas that they think need to be fixed, what they think is most urgent, to assist the Premier in, in prioritising future works and to force this Gillard Labor government to invest in the Bruce Ooh. Highway.